Elizabeth II is in this game. No, seriously, I am not kidding. Here, here she is. That's, that's Queen Liz. What is she doing in Liberty City? Goodness me, Queen Liz. Queen Liz, everybody. Give it up for Queen Liz. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth II... That was Christopher J. Patrick. You know, pedophile, cyberbully, robber, wanted uh, for pornography. And of course, the, with the pedophile thing, this was uh, like happened like many years ago. Like the the like, this goes like more than two years ago. Where he asked uh, teenage uh, LGBT, LGBT girl for nudes, she sent it to him, and to avoid getting caught, Christopher J. Patrick used a uh, software like MS Paint to uh, sort of blur out the body parts of the. A female body of that girl to avoid getting exposed for you know, in possession of uh, you know, pornography, child pornography. Yeah, she got exposed by people like Zizri, the Kazakhstan uh, YouTuber, you know, also a teenager herself, and she's uh, very knowledgeable and also. Uh, Ryan from uh, Ryan on Wi-Fi and Zach from uh, the Block Obama channel. All three of them exposed uh, Christopher J. Patrick uh, for his uh, pedophilia and uh, you know his uh, cyberbullying and toxic actions. So he got ex you know, exposed for that. So that was uh, good. And because of that, uh, he went into hiding and, you know, when the cyberbullying uh, thing was going on for, uh, you know, since 2020 to, to 2020, uh, to, uh, like, this summer. And then, you know, there were, like, people, like, involved, like, targeted, like, Brandon Hackwith or Sev Levesque or Anthony or Graham Kelly or Gregory Hall or, you know, Marco. And then, and then I, I've... I really taught the cyber world is a lesson and you know, I fought back. I did not back down. And you know, currently there's a, you know, I made up with uh, Ben first, but I've not heard a word uh, from uh, Alex. And yeah, he was very, very, being very rude about it. And just make up already. And I'll talk about the Alex later because, yeah, there's a key component to this as well, and, you know. And Christopher J. Patrick, he literally uh, made fun of, uh, and joked about, uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, passing away, and although she's uh, been uh, known to, uh, to be the ruler of uh, England for uh, ninety six years, so the longest uh, ever compared to like anybody else uh, before her in a royal family, and. Chris, Christopher J. Patrick uh, loves to play uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so while he's uh, not running away from the authorities, uh, he plays uh, games like this. And uh, you've heard about him, the robbery uh, he did at a homeless shelter. Yeah, he was like literally just acting out uh, what was in uh, Grand Theft Auto because there's uh, robbery parts in uh, the game and also uh, sex or, you know, Blood, gore, killing. You know, you know, gangs. And 
And we're not talking about Bloods or Crips, but, you know, actual gangs. So, and uh, speaking of Alex, this is what he shared. So he's supporting his ally. Christopher. Yeah, he's the one uh, who was uh, begging, please, Christopher, please come back. And yeah. And by the way, there was like uh, many uh, toxic uh, reactions and people were count fighting back against uh, Christopher J. Patrick. So good job to, the to them. So yeah, because he deserved it. So he was like making uh, ex excuses like this was like you uploaded like five minutes before the BBC, BBC announced it just saying as an excuse. Uh, well, people were really, uh, you know. And then even uh, one person that says take down the video, like, and he refuses to, because uh, technically this is being dis disrespectful. Because, and not to mention that if you actually do your geography, you will know that Australia is one of the countries that's still uh, tied to uh, England, uh, so the royal family. So they still have like connections with them, and you know. Although Canada you know, still does. USA, they cut ties a long time ago. Uh, even before the War of 1812. And then well, 1% uh, says too soon. And technically, uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth, she, she was uh, not too uh, much uh, in a bad condition. Uh, but she was pretty healthy, though. And Christ Christopher J. Patrick uh, just uh, being an ignorant uh, little git. Uh, yeah, that bastard. I wonder if he would say the same thing about Betty White. If he ever did in uh, December of last year. And he's like, so tragic. I'm trying to imitate his accent, though, so, yeah. And speaking of another person who also works with them and allies with them, you know the YouTuber uh, Shulkerbox? I don't know the name of that guy, but yeah. He was also uh, using the overused, uh, pretty childish uh, term, cry hard. Or cry about it. Seriously. They those guys who are saying cry about it or cry hard. I wonder if they would say the same thing about themselves, uh if uh Dwayne the Rock Johnson or Ronda Rousey or Stone Cold Steve Austin came over and uh they found out, you know that these people were oh well, being very disrespectful and uh, if they were like, you know, beating up these people. Yeah. Those guys are the ones who should be crying. And this is just, you know, there's a lot of people in the USA that respect the British family as well. So, uh, And because of this, Christopher J. Patrick, he's also uh, made that, uh, tried to uh, made uh, Ryan from uh, Ryan on Wi-Fi to uh, get off YouTube. Yeah, he said he would compliment them and then he uh, made a disrespectful uh, half-assed, uh, you know, apology and then, you know, and it was like, get off YouTube. And the fact that uh, 
Alex uh, is still in this fight. I'm still using my slander fest uh, thumbnails, and I am. Uh, I don't care what Kira says. You know that. You know, little bitch can uh, fuck off. I'm like, you know, not your fight. I pinned you down. Shoo. And Dave hasn't been too uh, trust them, trustworthy either. And uh, he, I uh, figured out he was also Sunset Watcher because he in, imitated my channel name. Though uh, I made fun of him for his broken English. I'm still uh, going to be uh, using that. I'm just xing some people that out. And I wonder what their parents would think of how their kids think, that includes Alex, of being very disrespectful and, and encouraging people to making fun of uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, passing away. The Let's see. You gotta be respectful to people uh, who like passed away. Like you know, <laughs> they will be remembered. Like you know, even from the old days to uh, you know, what recently happened. Uh, you know. Betty White to uh, Bob Saget. Be respectful. And yeah, the fact that also uh, Alex, uh, I have noted this, uh, that he all has been in going to college for a couple of years now. And uh, all he uh, does is uh, spend time drawing and playing video games. Well, and also cyberbullying, and also uh, being like complete dick. And the fact that I actually saw his tweet, uh, if the you know Alex uh, go, attacks me on uh, you know social media, I still have access to that. I can take a screenshot of that right now, and I can save it to my phone. So, good luck trying to prove your innocence. And, oh yeah, I want uh, Christopher J. Patrick to try and come at me. Because that coward, yeah, he always depends on other people. And, well, he's gotten, you know, he's going a one-way ticket to straight to hell. That's where he's going. <laughs> 